uh, hi everyone uh, welcome to this session so let's solve this very uh, interesting interview question so you have a mosfet circuit and you can see this is a kind of uh, current meter circuit uh, here on x is like on x is nothing but on w over l this is the size right and we have to find the current i1 i2 i3 and i out and v out okay we need to find and here a ideal current source of let's say i not is flowing uh, from this branch and that is 100 micro amps okay so let's solve so this is a basic current mirror type circuit so it is very easy to find okay and actually this is a big circuit but don't like don't be panicked okay yeah and we have vdd of 10 volt that is here okay so okay so this is a uh, this is the ideal current source so all of the current has to flow from this mosfet so the current through this mosfet is also 100 microamps okay and you can see these two are in the current mirror right what is the ratio of these two one is to two right so you all know the current mirror copying the currents right and the direct connected mos uh, decide the current through the current through each mos okay so if this is uh on x current this will be 2x current so on x current is nothing but uh, 100 micro so 2x nothing but uh, 200 microamps right yeah so this current the the i on is 200 microamps and that current has to flow from this pmos right this upper pmos because this is in the series branch so this direct connected pmos uh, having the current of uh, 200 microamps as well okay so now i can we can see that uh, this pmos this direct connected pmos and this pmos are in also in the current mirror okay because they are both of the vsdr same and we can see this is on x and this is 5x so the current through this uh, through this mosfet uh, this middle pmos let's say mp2 is decided by the current flowing through the uh, let's say this is mp1 current flowing through the mp1 okay and the current which is flowing through the mp1 uh, 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 okay so the current flowing through the this 5x will be nothing but the 5 times current flowing through this mp1 okay so that is again the current mirror, simple thing so for the pmoses mp1 on x carrying 200 micro okay so mp2 mp2 so both are in the current mirror so it is 5x times right so this 5 times ix will be flowing through this mp2 okay this is mp2 so it will be on uh, 5 into 200 micro so it will be 1 milliamps okay yeah so what is the i2 your i2 will be so i on is 200 micro i2 is 1 milliamps okay and what is the current through this uh, nmos let's say it is mn2 so again this both are in the series so same current will be flowing i2 will be same for both mp2 and mn2 okay so okay so this will be on milliamps so now we can see these two mosfets let's say it is M mn3 so these two mosfet are in also in the current mirror so that that current will be copied to this 4x of this nmos right 4x nmos so again your 2x is nothing but your 1 milli right 2x mos mn2 carrying 1 milli so 4x mn3 will carrying 2 times of this because this is nothing but the 2 times right so it will be 2 times of this so it will be 2 into 1 milli so it will be 2 milliamps okay so the current through M, mn3 will be 2 milli So this is 2 milliamps. So your I3 will be 2 milliamps. Now let's consider this MOSFET as MP3. So again these two are in the series, right? MP3 and MN3. So both will having same current. So I3 is 2 milliamps and that will uh... okay. So now so we have we have checked only this for the M1 uh, like. Uh, for the uh, mirror of the NMOS. What about the mirror of the PMOS? And you can see this is the double of this uh, previous case. So if this is carrying 1 milliamps, 1 milliamp, so it must be 2 milliamps, right? So again, 
both of the n mos and this p mos uh, uh, putting the same effect to make this uh, current 2 milliamps okay so don't forget this ratio okay like this 10x so this upper branch is also trying to make the current here 2 milliamps and the lower branch is also trying to make the current through this uh, mn3 and mp3 mp3 and mn3 is 2 milliamps so that is also valid okay okay so I'm writing again. So that is 2 milliamps. This is a 10x and this is a 4x. Okay. Now you have another branch here. This is 20x. And I think this is, I think 10x, I think. Will be 10x. Okay. Okay. So how do you think? So 2x was carrying on milli. So it is also in the current mirror with this, right? This one. So, it will carry 5 milliamps, right? Uh, 2x is 1 milliamps, so 10x will be 5 milliamps. And now, this uh, 5x was, this 5x was, uh, again, 1 milli, right? So, the 20x will be nothing but 4 milli, okay? Understood? Okay, yeah, or you can you can tell that this is two uh, again. It is two, uh, like two milliamps, so it is the double of this uh, current mirror, so it will be uh, uh, four four milliamps, right? So how do you think what will happen? So this current is four milli. Okay, let's make it forty. Okay, so that will be good actually. So that was my intention. It will be forty x. Okay. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so 10, uh, 10 x was, 10 x was 2 milli, so 40 x will be nothing but your 8 milliamps, correct? So this node is pushing 8 milliamps, 8 milliamps here, and this, this branch, uh, this, this MOSFET is pushing uh, 8 milliamps, and this MOSFET is pulling down the current to 5 milliamps, right? So how do you think, what will happen? So circuit will so if you if you if you make a KCL here, so you will find this I out will be eight minus three. Like eight minus five, that will be three milliamps. Okay. Correct or not? Now, so assume that your I out is three milliamps. Now, what do you think? What will your V output? So, let's make it uh, actually, it is not too high. Let's make it uh, 10k. Okay. Uh, not 10k. Let's say it is 1k actually. Yeah. 1k. Okay. So, this is the 1k home register. So, uh, this current uh, 3 milliamps I out. So, your I out is 3 milliamps. And that current is flowing through a resistance of 1 kilo ohm resistance. Right. So, 3 milliamps with 1 kilo ohm, so it will be 3, 3, uh, 3 volt, right, at the output. So, actually, my intention was make to happen this node to be positive, okay, and not more positive than the 10 volt, okay. Yeah, that was my only uh, reason, okay, to make all the transistor remain in saturation, okay. So, again, so ultimately, your question will become, this will be your uh, 1K, this is 10K, and this is 40X, okay. So, this is how we can solve easily to the current mirror problem and that type of question usually asked every in interview. Yeah. Thank you. So, ultimately your I1 is 200 micro, I2 is 1 milli, I3 is 2 milli, I out is 3 milli and your V out is 3 volt. Okay. Thank you.